pair of of Prozac and Matt Nass's blue white mirror ish matchup. We're oh seeing boy. a counter war over Jace, it looks like. Yes, and uh, Adam Prozac said that Jace was the card he was most scared of after sideboard from Matt Nass. And so we're going to see a revelation for two, it looks like. And that happens. I don't even know what turn we're on here, but there's a lot of a lot of lands and a lot of stuff in play. That is an auger filled board. Is Adam gonna come back from down 2-0 to move on to the semifinals? I know he was telling me, I don't know how many copies are in a sideboard just yet. He was telling me, yeah, he felt like his two copies Boom. of Talrand. Yeah be an ace after sideboard and you're seeing one right now speak of the devil this is exactly the card he mentioned as the key for him dissipate from matt nass syncopate for four or five i can't tell how many lands he's got down there looks like sync for five four for four <laughs> yeah, it looks like here's as though it's sticking and there we have Talrant. Spirit in for one, dropping Matt down to 16. Augur Bolas out of Adam, finding no spells it appears. And passes the turn back. Okay. Matt Nass. Whew, back against a wall with that towel ran out. Although I think that uh, he has Jace in hand and now Adam's shields are down, so he might be able to get that Jace to stick. Both players with uh, so much mana in play. And this looks like this this looks like Jace to me. Asking how many cards are in the deck are generally a sign that we're trying to stick memory adept. The least heralded of the Jaces, but still plenty good. <laughs> yeah. And definitely a card that people have uh, given a lot of credence to in matchups like this. Yeah, no question it's, it is awesome in blue mirrors, as attacking can be challenging, and people are kind of helping you out with Supreme Verdict, and if you're able to just sneak a Jason to play, that can be enough to, to take it. And a follow-up with... Restoration Angel to get the Snapcaster to unsummon a small spirit, just trying to make sure that his uh, Jace will survive another turn. Yeah, I suspect that play means that Matt needs just one activation out of his Jace to win the game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, he's. I mean, it's not. It's not one activation, but. Well, at that point, Adam Prozac well, yeah, needs to kill his opponent between this turn and uh, the next turn, or kill Jace practically immediately, and then he'll have a few turns. Yep. Oh boy, the pass. This is rough going. Adam's hand is just Supreme Burks, and Swings of Revelation appears, so neither of these are very good in this spot. One, two, three, four. And there's a ah, pike, and that's a boy. concession. Yeah, Adam looking for the pike. That is all she wrote. So Matt Nass, that's our uh, our third semifinalist, and we're still waiting for an update on the Reed Duke Nick Spagnola match. The last we heard, Reed was up 2-0. And okay, the word is in. Reed, Reed Duke 3-0 in what we thought was gonna be the most lopsided match in this top eight. So wow. I was just never bet against Reed, I guess. 3-0 over Nicholas Spagnola. Just I would, I would like to, it's a shame I can't go, I, I didn't have an opportunity to watch those games because I would be really impressed to see how Reed, Reed was able to pull it out. Yeah. I